Hello everyone, my name is Anna Protasio. I am a researcher at the Wellcome Sanger Institute and today we are going to learn how to retrieve a gene entry from a repository. We are going to use two repositories today, namely NCBI hosted by the NIH in the US and the European Nucleotide Archive. First, we are going to start by navigating to NCBI by typing www.ncbi.com dot nlm dot nih dot gov. This is the page where we arrive and we have a drop down menu of databases that we can use. Today we are going to use the nucleotide database found here and in the search box we are going to type E. coli HPCC. This is the name of the gene we are going to use today for this demonstration. Now we're going to click search. The results are back and notice that some of the entries have the name complete chromosome in them. We are not interested in these entries as we're interested only in a gene entry which is found on the third place in this case. We're going to click on this entry um, now we are shown the gene bank entry for this gene. Notice that uh, on the left hand side you have tags such as locus, definition, accession and they are populated by these codes. So here we have the accession number, we have the definition of the gene, we also have some keywords and also importantly we have links to for example the organism Estrichia coli and we have also PubMed links to get more information about this entry. We are not going to do this today, but you're encouraged to do so yourself in your time. At the bottom of the page, we have the DNA sequence for this gene. We also have the protein sequence, which is the conception translation for this gene. We are now going to download this entry into a file and for this we go to the send to drop down menu. We're going to leave complete record. We're going to choose file and leave gene bank as the format. And then click on create file. This is going to automatically download a sequence into our download folder. To access that sequence we need to open it into a text editor. In this example I am working on a PC but you will also have similar software in your Mac or Linux machines. I'm going to find it, find the file and um, observe here that the extension.gb has is, is been lost. Um, we will need to open this in WordPad in our Windows example. For that I am going to open WordPad And from here, I am going to open the file directly from the downloads folder. Notice that the file does not appear in the list. This is because the extension is not necessarily compatible with WordPad. But we can choose to show all documents. And here is our sequence. When I click on our sequence, I click open. And here's our entry. Notice that this file has the same format as you observed in the web browser but some of the links are removed. This is because this is now a flat file and it only contains text. But this is a good way of keeping a record of your sequence of interest. I'm now going to close this file and I'm going to show you how to download a FASTA sequence from this gene. We're going to use the same drop-down menu, send to, but instead of doing complete record, we're going to choose coding sequences. And in the format download, we will have two options. We can download the nucleotide or we can download the protein. In this instance, we're going to download the nucleotide. We're going to click on create file. And another file is being downloaded. We're going to do the same procedure. We're going to open WordPad or if you already have it open before, you can just use it directly. And from here, going to the downloads folder and again I need to change to see all documents and this is our other sequence that has a text document type and this is the faster sequence. 
the first line has a more than symbol followed by the name of the entry, which is quite long in this case. It could be just as small as the accession number. And then all the sequence that follows. In order to download the protein sequence, we can repeat the same steps, going to send to, coding sequence, and choose the protein file. This downloads as well as a sequence. This is our third file that we downloaded. We can open it again in WordPad. And this is our protein sequence. Notice that the sequence is different. This time it's amino acids rather than um, bases. We are now going to navigate to the European Nucleotide Archive website to have a look at the same entry in the different repository. We are now going to retrieve the same gene entry from a different database. We are going to use the European Nucleotide Archive. For that, we will navigate to the site by typing www.ebi.ac.uk slash ENA. This is the search site. In the text search, we're going to type exactly the same thing, E. coli HPCC, and we're going to click search. And here it comes back with two results. We're going to click on this link. And here we have a similar entry to what we had before. Don't be confused about the different layout, but all the same information is here. We're going to click text. This will automatically download a file for us. And from here, we can find it in the finder. And this is our file. And we can open it with WordPad. And this is our entry. This is equivalent to the gene bank entry that we downloaded earlier. And all the same information is here. It's just encoded slightly different. So instead of having all the words such as accession or PubMed, we have just two letter codes. But the same information is there. And at the bottom, you will also have the nucleotide sequence and the amino acid sequence. If we wanted to just download the FASTA sequence, we can use the link FASTA at the end. We can repeat the same procedure, but now the extension might present some problems. So we are going to have to choose to open it with WordPad. And here's our sequence. It is possible to change the extensions of the files just by using the rename option on your software. In this demonstration, we've shown you how to search for a gene entry using NCBI and ENA, as well as to download the sequences into your computer. If you have any comments, please leave them on the comment section below the activity. We hope you've enjoyed this demonstration and hope to hear from you soon.